Hey guys, Steed here, welcome back to Guardian's Crusade. Now, last time we left off, we'd found the warp gate key area, and we can use these to actually travel around the world. Um, but, uh, there is more ways to travel around. Uh, first, let's check out this blue one. I think I know where the blue one leads. So this is the warp gate. I bet we have to use the warp gate key once the door closes. I'm guessing we do too, and I know exactly exactly where we are. Now remember the colors that I like I explained, or did I explain it? I don't remember if I did or not. There's uh, in the warp gates. I'll show you again here in a second. But look where we are. Remember this? I often wonder about that shrine. Well, we're here back in this place. I forget what this place is called. It's where you fought the mushmare and saved the underground inhabitants here. Anyway, I don't know if I explained this, but there... I notice whenever you go in these shrines, there's always like different colors. And it's it's the warp gate. Like, it's the shape of the warp gate that you go in. And to go back in here, you gotta go into... Oh, uh, okay. I need to throw one of these away, because Butch is carrying... Right now, Butch is carrying my warp gate key. Butch, give that back. I need that. You use this, and it opens up, and then you can go in. So that's that. Now, this is the warp gate, as you see. And we can go anywhere where there's one of those warp things. One of these leads to, uh, what's his name? Uh, Gallic. It, one of them leads to Gallic's basement, remember? But um, we're going to go find one where we can easily go outside. This is a green one. Oh, I think I'm outside now. I am. Okay, uh, this one led out here. Um, where am I on the map? Oh, I know where I am. You guys remember this? I'm at the uh, spot where uh, I had to go to that north tower and save the townsfolk from the the monster. This is that one town. Oh, this is that. Yeah, this is that one place where that giant wagon with the faces that I fought. Yeah, that thing. You guys remember this town. Here, I'll go up here and show you guys real quick. Remember this town? Yeah. You guys remember this. With the inspector. There he is. Detective. I... I doubt... That was completely by accident. I didn't even know that he gave you a living toy. He gave me Sermon. What a Sermon. Revives one when knocked out. Oh my! Yes! <laughs> I didn't even know that that toy existed. I'm not even joking you. I That was completely by accident that I happened to run into this town and talk to that guy. I, I know it seemed very staged that I walked in there and just happened to speak to him, but I promise you, I didn't know at all. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's cool that I have him now, but uh, besides the warp gate key to move around, in fact, let me show you uh, in my uh, living toys. Open up Mapster here, and if you notice, uh, there's four red dots. There's one on the South Island, there's one a little bit above it, there's one even norther of that, norther. Me good English talker. There's one even more north of that, and then there's the one way over there on the ice island. Um, but besides, the, those red dots are where I'm going to get the holy pieces, the holy armor pieces. Um, but what are the blue dots on the map? You see the blue dot there that's right next to me? and Yeah, all those blue dots are the warp gate uh, areas. So if I can use the warp gate key to travel to those areas uh, where the blue dots are. But, there's another way of traveling now. As you guys remember the little cutscene, where, um, Butch flew. I'm just gonna let this music play, because this is awesome. Yes, I can go anywhere I want now.
Yes. Butch can now fly on the overworld map, and you can pretty much go anywhere you want. Land anywhere, take off from anywhere, and it is amazing. It Why is it it's always like that moment you reach in in any RPG game? That moment that you reach where you can get an airship or the air flight and the air travel thing, whatever it is, and you can go anywhere on the overworld map and it plays this like awesome music and it's it gets you right here every time. Am I right? I mean, do you guys agree with me? Come on, you know, I know you guys agree with me. I don't even need to ask you. All right, so as you obviously you can see that I can go anywhere I want to on the overworld map. So now. It is time to start exploring some of the old places. Hey, looky here. Remember this place? This is the swamp. And Galax's place is over to the right. What is this place way up north here? Hmm, what is this? There's an island over on the left, on the map, right here. Um, that is Zepetto's island. If I'm correct, this place I'm about to hit is my hometown where I started. I haven't been here since the beginning of the game. Let's go. To, let's go talk to the mayor. Let's go see what's going on in town. Um, actually, that is one thing. You cannot. Okay, you can't land in town. You have to go over here and land outside of town. Any, you can take off from anywhere, though. You can, like, take off from town or what, or outside or wherever. Oh, my. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been here. Skid, it's nice to see you again. Hey, nice to see you, too. So here I am. My good old home sweet home. My bed is still a mess. Nah, I don't need to rest. It's cool that you can go back to your hometown, though. Uh, let's go see what the mayor has to say. See if the mayor says anything different. I brought back, uh, I brought back Butch, so the mayor might be like, uh, "What are you doing with that monster here? He'll break, he'll curse us again." I sense you've made a firm decision, Skid. Don't worry, I won't stop you. You've made up your mind already. Just remember, this village is your home, always your home. Hey, you're not bad after all, mayor. You're not that bad after all. I guess that's about it. I mean, I could see if I could talk to that one lady and get that thing I never got. Welcome back, Skid. You're going on a journey again. I know, I know. Yep, I am. All right, you know what? Let's take off. There we go. And up we go. Yeah! So the furfish place is over there to the left. Uh, I'm not going to go there. I love how you can actually still see everybody on the ground. I thought that was so cool. There's this place right here. Uh, this is the Denim Plains. This is the tree. And the tree is where you have to go. Oh, I am getting have a little frame lag. The tree is where you have to go to get one of the armor pieces. Should I go ahead and do one? Yeah, sure, why not? I'll do a quick save. Now you guys remember, whenever we first came here, we got the twisted sword and all that stuff? It's a good thing we did, because uh, if we didn't, that stuff would be way underneath us right now. So, in a way, I don't understand why they made the monsters in here a little bit higher level than you. Uh, because, I don't know. The I'm glad we came here and got what we needed back then. Look at all the monsters now. They're all running away. Run, monster! Right, the further down we go, the closer we get to that spot. Now, you guys remember when we first came in here, the first time we came in here, um, it gave us... Oh, wow, that's a, it's much further down than I remember. There is that, uh, yeah, here it is, finally. You go in here, and if you stepped in the light, it says, 
Oh, you feel like you don't need to be here right now, or the, a light pushes you out, or whatever. Well, guess what? The warp gate key flashes brightly. Now, you can go in there. So here we are. Our first area. Go up here. My master is Darwin. I must test your worthiness. So battle time. Yes, chop him. Alright, LT. We're gonna pull out Windmeister. My god, I have a lot of toys now. Come on, Windmeister. Tornado! Pow! Oh, only 80. Delta Shock. How much damage is he gonna do? 150 to Butch. Ow, that hurts. Uh, should I pull out another one? Baby, attack. Um, you know, I never explained this, but you me remember how I told you that you can have a, an affection or a friendship meter with Butch? You tell him to attack, it raises his friendship with you, or you give him snacks, it raises his friendship. I remember when I was a kid, I didn't know that, obviously, because uh, I rented the game from, like, Blockbuster or something, and it didn't come with a manual. So, um, if he, if he has a low friendship with you, he'll actually attack you. <laughs> like, he'll go, and he'll, like, turn around and do the chomp on you. And I remember doing that, him doing that, and I was like, what the heck is going on? When I was a kid, I was like, oh my god. Um, anyway, we'll pull out Pyro. Sorry to stop mid-battle to talk about that. Fireball! Ooh, 200 damage. Too hot? Let me cool you off with a little wind. Poof, 240! <laughs> Holy crap. Hand cannon. Pow, pow, pow. Oh, it's an AoE attack. Ow! Chomp. Nice. Alright, now I'm gonna just attack him. Pow, pow. This guy should be no problem, especially with the with Pyro and Windmeister at my side. I'm surprised he's not dead yet, actually, to be honest with you. Okay, he didn't get rid of Windmeister yet. Chomp! Alright, I'm gonna take this time to heal Butch. I would like to attack, but... I'll let my, uh two toys do the attack and for me. 240, jeez. Bam! 128, not bad. This guy has a lot of life. Alright, now I can... Oh, my toys are dead. And Butch with the final hit. Yeah. Way to go, Butch. 5,000 experience, 8,000 rubies. That's something I need to do. I forgot. Uh, how many rubies do I have? 294,000? Okay. That's good, uh, because we're gonna go visit Bonnick. We haven't seen Bonnick in a while. Um, uh, you know what? We're not, we're not gonna heal with items. We're gonna grab this item. It is the Holy Armor. And believe it or not, the Holy Armor is not as good as the full plate that I'm wearing right now, which is interesting. But we have it. We got it for Darkbeat. He said that we, he wanted us to collect the pieces and bring them to him, so we will. Besides, my pl my full plate is better than he that holy armor. Funny enough, that's weird that it, like the holy armor is weaker than some armor I bought from a store. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go to Bonix. And if I remember correctly, Bonnick is in that middle island. I forget what the island's name is, but it's that middle island that you stopped by in the ship. And then you rode the ship the rest of the way, and then got knocked off board and then ended up on the purple. Okay, here's the exit. So we're done with the tree. We got the holy armor. Alright, Butch. Let's fly.
Okay. Uh, we're gonna head south. Because I think the island is this way. Actually, I'm gonna head kind of... Kind of southeast-ish. Oh, is this the desert? Yeah, it's the desert. <laughs> that music is so addictive. If I'm correct, this is Zed Har Zed Harbor. So yeah, Zed Harbor, and then a bit southeast would be um, the island. I keep forget. I don't remember the name. So. Whoa! What the hell? Uh Okay, no 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 no. There there are some monsters and gargoyles down there, like Artima gargoyles it looked like. That's the same gargoyle I fought whenever I fought Artima or whatever. So I'm gonna return to Zed Harbor after I visit Bonnick. I wanna visit Bonnick first. He has some important things for me. I'm getting a lot of lag today on my game. I'll see if I can cut that out. Okay, this is it. I think. Yes. That should be Bonix. Yes, Bonix. That's it right there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and land right there. Let's go visit Bonnick, see what he has to sell. Sleep at the inn, get some HP and MP or er, and a uh, psychic points refilled, and then we'll go find out what the heck's going on at Zed Harbor. Hey, Bonnick! Long time no see, pal. What do you got upstairs? Oh, nothing. B -b -b bonic b -b -b bonic all right bonic welcome to bonic get it it's bonic's boutique so i just added the two words together and skid it is you i saved your life remember of course i remember what why aren't there any customers i don't know why but no ships stop here anymore what the ships were all sunk by a monster i can't believe it that means i'll never have any customers what am i to do boo hoo hoo skid do me a favor as a friend buy something anything please yeah, sure, I'll see what you have. Thank you, Stid. You are truly a good friend. All right, pick out anything in the store. I'll give it to you at a discount rate. Whatever you want at Bonique, we have it. He says discount rate, and look what the Platinum Sword sells for. Um, pretty much all these swords are the same. Say Sword of Chaos, Sword of Order, Avian, Ga Gaian, Water, Flame, all lower my attack to 125. However, Platinum raises to 160, and I am definitely buying that. Uh, but that explains it. He says that there's no ships coming in because the monsters have taken over Zed Harbor. So we'll have to go take care of that. Anyway, I'm gonna go I'm gonna buy this sword. Yes. I'm gonna buy the platinum plate. Yes. Anything else? I'm gonna buy the platinum helmet. Yes. Uh yeah, sure. And then the platinum shield. Yes. Now that put me that cost all of my money, just about. Uh, I still have all these items, but let's sell some stuff. Let's sell this bubble drum and the freedom root. Sure, why not? All right, Bonnie, I bought your most expensive stuff. Let's see your platinum crap. Give me awesome stuff, Butch. Give snack. I'm gonna give him the snack of the legendary armor. No, I'll give him a snack of the full plate. <laughs> that's that's awesome, actually. Uh, and the great sword, of course. All right, Butch, give me the two platinum items that you have.
All right, let me throw this. Where's the rotten weed? Let me th throw away. Okay. Let me equip platinum helmet and platinum shield. Oh yes. So that is good. I brought like the best, like some of the best armor. Um, what am I doing? Uh. Hmm. Gift snack of the Zepetto helmet. Yes, I'm f I'm giving him the Zepetto helmet that I've had for a long time, and the steel shield. Okay. Uh, at actually, as for the Chester flute, I'm gonna give that to Butch because um I won't need it ever again. I'll also give him the record. Use nothing happened. I didn't mean to use it. Let Butch have it. There we go. Okay. Uh, that is it for inventory management. And I'm past my time, so I'm going to go over here, sleep, and then end my episode. So, with that, that is it for me this time around. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this Let's Play so far, subscribe for more. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And this is Jid. I'll see you guys next time.